Each year, about 12,000 people are added to the waiting list for a liver transplant. Here locally, Scripps Green Hospital is testing out a new transport system, which doctors say could improve upon the system and potentially help save lives. We're joined now by Dr. Christopher Marsh, who is the director of Scripps Organ Transplant Program. Welcome. Happy to be here. So what exactly is warm perfusion? Yeah, so we have a uh, new technology where we're putting livers instead of in ice and transporting around, we're putting on a machine which has blood in it and it's warmed to normal body temperature, oxygenated. And in addition, we've added nutrients, um, electrolytes, um, things to feed the liver and it basically supports the liver. And as I call it, it's almost like putting the liver immediately back in the body where it can continue to function rather than sitting cold for hours. And how big of a development is this? Well, this is a huge change. For 50 years, we've been putting livers on ice and shipping them and having to hurry up and put the organ in before it deteriorated. Um, this change we're seeing is that with putting it on this machine, it does two things. It uh, keeps the liver going. We have the ability to assess its function. Um, and we think that it will extend the times that the liver can be on the machine before it's put back in the body. And it's gonna, we feel, will change the nature of how we do transplants and hopefully increase the su success of transplants. And you've already applied this process here locally. Can you talk about a transplant performed on a police officer? Yeah, so he was the first in the region in San Diego to have a uh, liver put on this pump and transplanted. The uh, transplant was very successful. He's doing well. I saw him in the clinic at, at Scripps uh, and uh, he's doing well. And I, what I hope that in the future as this trial gets completed is that we can move to a new era where we have this device to assess livers that we might not have even utilized. Um, in the West Coast, in our region, about 160 livers are not utilized because we're afraid that they will not work. If we could take half of those and put them on the machine and assess that the livers are working, we could transplant more patients. So it's twofold. Transplant livers further, potentially utilize more livers and save more lives. I was reading that not only is there a benefit of the liver being able to be transported farther, but also um, what's the benefit of keeping the liver warm? So when we have it warm and being oxygenated, it's able to continue to function. And so we can actually test its ability to function by looking at how the blood flow throughs it, flows through it. We can see if it's clearing things like it's supposed to. So we think check things like lactic acid. Is the liver producing bile? And so by having it warm, we have the ability to assess the liver, whereas when it's cold stored in a box, we have no way to know. So what's next? Tell us about the, the process of this trial. So I, the trial has to be uh, finished. And of course, that's the whole idea to do the trial to prove that it's safe. Um, then I think it's a rollout. Like anything that gets started, a new immunosuppressive drug, you kind of know how it works, and, but then you learn when to use it, how to use it. Um, obviously, this is a, a technical preservation system. Uh, that does have some costs, but we want to apply it more and more to probably, as I mentioned, uh, livers that are marginal we wouldn't use, and also allows us to transport more safely across distances so we can get the livers to the right person who needs it the most urgently. Thank you so much. You're welcome.